What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about all the leaks for LEGO Fortnite. Things like new weapons, new biomes, and a lot of other stuff are reportedly coming to the game at some point in early 2024. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, these are all leaks. A lot of this stuff has been pulled from game files. Now, the team at LEGO Fortnite did leak a few things on Twitter uh, on their own. They kind of backtracked and kind of went back with it and said, yes, this is coming eventually. But we do know there's going to be an update at some point in early 2024. Will all of this stuff be included in it or all of this stuff going to be included in the game in general? We're not sure because, like I said, this is leaks. But I would guess that some of this will be coming to the game and probably some of it will be coming to the game later. I'm not sure if they will add all of this at one time. But let's go ahead and talk about exactly what all has been leaked. Traders coming to the game. So this is an option for you know three different traders to be available in-game that your character can actually go to and trade with. Now, we have no currency available in uh, Fortnite, Lego Fortnite right now. I'm not sure if something's going to be added or if this is going to be a trading trading ba uh, basis where you kind of, you know, they have an item you need, let's say, for example, a food item, and you have to trade them 10 wood for it. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to be set up or if it's going to be set up on a currency kind of, uh, you know, system. We'll have to wait and see. New food and potions should be coming available to you as well and I think that's going to be some things that you know you can craft and also maybe purchase from these uh, traders a new biome now this is the one that if this is true I'm assuming may not be out just yet it could be but the rumor is the dark forest and this seems like a big thing to me like a big update kind of you know tied into Lego Fortnite so I'm assuming this may be tied in with a chapter at some point we'll kind of have to wait and see but there is a new biome that would be great I'm assuming at some point they're going to have to expand the map, change the map somehow. Uh, a zip line pole, which would make it a lot easier for traversing the landscape in game. Of course, if you have a glider, it does help, but a zip line would be a lot better. You can kind of just zip back and forth between different areas. A catapult weapon and the cannon from Battle Royale. Now, if the cannon from Battle Royale, the you know Fortnite Battle Royale, comes to the game, this could be another way to traverse the land. Let's say you can use it to. Uh, you know, shoot down buildings, enemies, or even shoot yourself out of it. Uh, also, that catapult weapon could be available and could cause, you know, or allow players to be able to traverse the landscape as well. So we may have several different ways there that we can get around the map a little bit quicker. Also, there was a wheel mentioned in the leaked files for like a steering wheel. So they may be adding something for all these players out there that are making cars inside of LEGO Fortnite to have an ability to have a wheel instead of having to use thrusters to move that, you know, car that they have created. A compass for directional issues. This is probably one of the biggest things that needs to be added to the game to me, and this is one thing that I'm really happy for. They're going to add a compass in. I wish they would kind of just put you know, your compass across the top of the screen for your north, south, east, west, pretty much like you have in Battle Royale or a lot of other games out there. But that compass would be really good, or just a small compass, you know, round circular compass on the screen somewhere. That way, when you're traveling back and forth, you don't have to keep pulling up your map. New animals in kind of the environment to make the game feel more alive so right now you know we have things like cows sheep uh, chickens they're talking about adding things like bear deer bats etc so things you would see out in the wild and i think this would be good because a lot of times you go from a kind of cluster to a cluster of enemies uh but you really don't see a lot of other stuff a few cows sheep things like that but i think adding in more animals to make the world feel more alive would be a very good thing to do also a new stun gun and longbow so instead of a crossbow option, you'd have a longbow option and you would have a stun gun option and a new gravity gun weapon as well. Weapon rarity to rift weapons. So it looks like the weapon rarity could go up from epic to possibly rift weapons. And that's where a lot of the rumor ties into the new dark forest biome having this rift weapon material inside of that biome. Also legendary crafting benches. So being able to upgrade your crafting bench once again, and this time it would go to tier five. That way you could have a legendary or tier five weapons and tools and also new props so new building items so this would be new items you know for your buildings the leaks suggest these new building items would be for the houses and you know things we already have available the shogun style and so on so you would have new you know building props for 
all the stuff we already have in game. I'm assuming at some point they're going to start adding in new designs. As popular as LEGO Fortnite is, I know everybody wants content for it, and that's going to be a great thing. The game's not been out that long. Look, we're looking at a little bit over a month. And I think the team probably sees that, and I really hope they continue to add a good influx of content to the game all the time. Because that's what's going to keep people interested in playing. And that's pretty much, unfortunately, the kind of the world we live in nowadays. When it comes to gaming, people want content and something to keep their you know, kind of time occupied. Or they can just move on to a different game. So I'm hoping LEGO Fortnite and the team there, that has done a really good job in my opinion already, I can continue this kind of success going forward. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these leaks. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.